Hello there, SoundDrop artist, Pony here. Now, everybody knows that SoundDrop pays out reliably on a monthly basis, and when we do that, we send you two things. One, a payment. Two, we send you a detailed statement showing exactly what you're getting paid for. Now, that can be a lot of data, and if you're like me, that can be a little intimidating. So today, I'm gonna bring in Rebecca. Hello. Rebecca's gonna show us how to slice and dice that information in a pivot table in a spreadsheet so that you can see exactly how much individual tracks are earning on different music platforms and different territories on different dates and all that stuff. I'm already getting a little overwhelmed. You're gonna make this easy, right, Rebecca? Of course I am. If you follow me to my desk, I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, Rebecca, here we are. How here do we, we are. Yeah, how do we start? What's step one? Okay, step one. You need to download the CSV file you get as your statement from your email and save it onto your computer somewhere. Step two, you're just gonna open a blank Google Sheet and then go to File, then Import, select your CSV file. You're gonna come up with a few presets. So we're gonna hit Import here and here it is. It's all of my info, all of my sales, every microtransaction. So I've got up here um, in my columns, I've got the statement period, transaction month, service, country, label, the artist name, the release title, track title, UPC, ISRC, release catalog number, ca track catalog ID, channel, format, quantity, gross revenue, mechanical royalty deducted, contract ID, contract rate, net revenue, your share, your amount given your seat, your statement total, your opening balance, and your closing balance. That's a lot of info. So we're going to use a pivot table to just break this down into information that you want. So the next step is you're just going to select here in the upper left hand corner and just select everything in the sheet. Then you're going to go to data and just scroll down to pivot table and you're going to select a new sheet. You don't want to add it to the sheet that already has all your data. So hit create. Awesome. Next, I've got this new sheet with just, it says columns, rows, and values, and then I have this pivot table editor right here. So what I'm going to do is click add under rows. I'm going to select track title because we're just looking at our revenue from tracks. And then under values, I'm going to select amount due in USD because that's how much I'm getting paid. So here it is. It breaks it down exactly how much you are getting paid for each individual track. Money. Money. Okay, cool, so we've got this. So I'm gonna play around a little bit with what I'm seeing in my rows. So I can break this down by service. So I'm looking at all the stores where my revenue came from. So it's breaking oh, yeah. it down by track title and then by store. I can add, um, date so when was the, when did the transaction happen um, so that breaks it down even further and I can experiment by dragging these around so I can drag whatever I want to the top and just make the data as meaningful to me um, as I'd like and that's it super easy that was easy really easy I'm so much less <laughs> intimidated now good I'm glad pro, pro tips. tips format the money column as money Yep, all you have to do is just click this format as currency sign right in your toolbar. Group by release instead of track. Cool, all I need to do is exit out on track title under rows, add release title. You might have to filter out blanks. So all you do is add a filter, put in your row title, and then just deselect blanks. That was some really good info, Rebecca. How do you know how to do that stuff? Um, Pony, you taught me how to, to do that. Wow, that's really weird. I think that once I showed you, I just instantly forgot myself, and that feels great. Um, <laughs> tune in next time, guys. We'll be back with more good info.